Hey guys, Skinny Pigs one here. Today I'm going to do a video on what to do if your guinea pig gets mushy or kind of soft poops. Now first things first, we're not talking diarrhea, we're not talking runny, watery poop. If your guinea pig has runny, watery poop, that is an emergency for your vet to look after, an exotic vet. We're talking about poops that's just a little bit softer, mushy, and kind of sticking to their feet. It's still serious, so you still need to act quickly, but I'm not talking diarrhea, okay? So, if your guinea pig has softer, mushy poops, the first thing you need to do is stop all vegetables. Vegetables have a high water content, and they're only going to make things worse. Second thing to do is clean up your guinea pig's cage, clean off their feet if poop is stuck to their feet because you don't want them getting sore feet, and make sure you give them a big pile of hay. So if hay is usually up in a hay rack that's a little more work to get at, put the pile of hay down. Timothy is best because it's a lot drier than say orchard grass or bluegrass. And you want something that's a little more dry, a little high in fiber to get their poops back to being more solid. So I'm experiencing this right now with Bullseye and I went out and purchased Timothy hay for him. I usually use orchard grass but I wanted the most dry hay I could get. So give them a hay pile because you want them to have easy access to hay. The other thing is you can keep them on their pellets, that's fine. But what I recommend is buying a probiotic. Now the brand I buy is called Benebac. And I purchased it on MontrealCritters.ca. It's a little tube about this big. And it has natural bacteria in this little bottle that would be found in a guinea pig's intestines anyway. Because usually when they're having problems with their poops is because there's an imbalance with their gut flora. So what you would do is you'd buy the probiotic, put a little, mix it in with their pellets, and then when they're eating their pellets, they're taking that in and it's going to help their digestion. Now a little tube like that, I'd use probably half a tube or less for the one day when you're putting it in their pellets. Another great thing to add would be a digestive support tablet from Oxbow. This is made of all natural ingredients that really help digestion. Now you can buy them in like the little containers. I should have brought one over with me, but they have 60 tablets in them. They're a hay tab, it's Timothy based, so it's fine to use. So you would just give them that one a day. And make sure they have lots of fresh drinking water as well. Now guinea pigs that are on medication often can get soft poops, so it's always important if your guinea pig's going on an antibiotic to get them a probiotic. Antibiotics are killing bacteria and it will even kill healthy bacteria found in their tummies, so you need to give them a probiotic to get those good bacteria coming back. And if they're on pain meds, whenever you're giving pain meds to your guinea pigs, you always need to be giving them something to eat at the same time. Because the pain meds can really upset a stomach if it's going in on an empty tummy. So pain meds with food is going to help prevent any mushy poops from happening. Now I would recommend that you stick them off of veggies until their poops become normal and give them another day until you're certain that they're normal. And then slowly add vegetables back. You probably just want to add one vegetable back and let them have that veggie for a couple days to make sure that doesn't upset them. And if it doesn't, add another one back. If that doesn't upset them, add the other ones back. Just do one at a time and make sure you watch it for the couple days for each veggie. Because this is when we're talking like it's not a serious thing, like they just had mushy poops for a day or so. So then you're just going to slowly add the veggies back and I would keep giving the probiotic for a few more days and the digestive support tablet. Mushy poops are quite the hassle and it means they have an imbalance so you do need to pay attention and make sure you fix it before it gets worse. Right now Bullseye, he's never had veggies before so with me I gave him veggies and it really upset his tummy. We can't get it back on track even with probiotics and the digestive tabs. So he is going to be off vegetables for quite some time. And we're really going to work on getting his gut flora back to how it's supposed to be. So while he's off his veggies, he's going to get supplemented vitamin C. He's going to have his pellets and he's going to have his hay and his Timothy hay. But he needs the extra vitamin C. But for most people, if you have just a touch of 
mushy poops one day for whatever reason and it's not a big deal. Usually stopping veggies for a few days until it hardens up is more than enough. But obviously for Bullseye we've been battling this for a little while. He'll be fine. I'll slowly add veggies back and then he'll relapse. So for him he's just going to be cut out in veggies for a long time. Probably the vet recommended two months so we're going to see how that goes. But for most of you, if it's just an isolated incident, just stop the vegetables right away. Lots of hay because they really need fiber. You can get the digestive tabs, get some probiotics in their pellets, and get them back to feeling good again. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. See ya!